32 head bumping, then straight to the packing house. $420, there's your receipt. Wait a minute, I can't pay that kind of money. You've doubled the rate. What's the idea? You pay it and like it, that's the idea. Let's go, Drake. You ain't going any place not with my talk, you know. You didn't even send me a notice. There's a notice right behind you, Buffington. Read it. Stock, and when I told them the rate is too high, they slugged me. Right now? Yes, sir. But they grabbed my stock anyway. What are we going to do about it, Mr. Barbie? Do about it? Well, I don't know. I'll have to think about it. You know, a man can't make a decision like that in just a second, Clem. What do you want me to do? Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah oh, oh, now, wait a minute, Clem. Hold on. Now, stop it. Stop it. Uh, be calm, Clem. Be calm. That's the thing. That's the thing. Be calm. Yeah, well, we'll handle everything right here. My foreman is here. Yeah, 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 right away. I'll call you back. Roy, Roy. Poor old Buffington. Lambert's bunch just gave him a going over and took all these cattle at their own rates, too. What do you think of that? I think it's a foul ball deal, Mr. Barabee. Here you are, president of the Cattlemen's Association, sitting by while those gorillas crush one of our men. And you ask him to be calm. Well, you're getting excited. You bet I am, and I'm for going after that gang. We'll at least get Clem's stock back. How about it, Gabby? Me, I'm raring for a ruckus, too. And baby makes three. Four. Well, come on, boys. Now, wait, Roy. I can't be a party to violence. We've got to show Lambert we're not afraid of him. All you've got to do is stay out of it. Out? Oh, I see. Well, that has merit, Roy. You take the bows, and I'll take the chances. Yeah, I'll take you. Yeah, but on the other hand, Roy! Hey, Roy, I got him grinning. Took a bucket of paste and a set of store teeth, and he ain't fierce no more. Well, come on, bro. We'll get you a couple more heads for your collection. Truckers. Truckers? Smoke and look. Well, let me at him. Look, we got company. What do you want? What's wrong here? Hello, Lambert. Just about everything. Your men, your methods. Ah, uh, they ganged me. All I did was load that herd. And beat up an old man. I never laid a hand on him. Shut up, Cully. You don't have to apologize to these guys. They're out of line anyhow. Not as much as those new freight rates of yours, Lambert. Too high for you, huh, Rogers? Since when have you been running things for the cattlemen? I always thought you were Barabee's foreman. I am. If you'd rather speak to Barabee, here he is now. Who got hurt? Nobody on our side. And here's your chance to get things settled with Lambert. It's all settled. The price stays. Go ahead and tell him, Mr. Barabee. Oh, confound it, Roy. I, I don't know what to do. I, uh, hey, Lambert! Now, look here. We can both compromise on this. You're a reasonable man, Lambert. Not me. Why can't you be? We've all got to make a living. Why not give us a fair shake? Now, look, why don't you stop kidding yourself, Barry? I've got you cattlemen by the ears. Either you do it my way, or you walk your stock a hundred miles to the packing house. Walk? Why, that's impossible. We couldn't do that. Roy! Oh, Roy, he's right. Now you're getting smart. Oh, he's bluffing. Why don't you let me handle this, Mr. Barry? Why don't you birds make up your mind? Yeah, why don't we? Oh, huh? uh, for Roy, I listened to you once before. Now, Lambert's got us on the spot. There's no use trying to antagonize him. Look here, Lambert. 
Let's discuss this. Discuss nothing. Here's the freight contract. Now, do you want to sign it or don't you? Yes, give it to me. I'm so sick of this whole confounded mess. I... Where's the pen? I'll get you one. You want us to unload Clem stock, Roy? Oh, forget it, Gabby. Lambert's sure crowding his luck. Say, bro, what is that song? Well, let me see. Hobgoblin Dobbin. I'm a getting her, Roy. Be quiet. Say, that's Steamboat River Robin. Which gives me an idea. I've got to stop Bear Beat. <laughs> Excuse me, you, Lambert. I want to talk to you, Mr. Barraby. Now, Roy, I'm just doing business with Mr. Lambert here. It's very important. It's our freight contract. We don't need that contract. But I do wish... Oh, all right. Mr. Barraby, we've got a river right at our back door. Why not use it? A steamboat service direct to the packing house. Well, those boats can carry 500 head. Uh, it's big, all right. Maybe it's too big. I'd have to think it over. Well, listen, think what it'd mean to the ranchers around here. A new square deal in the end of Lambert's truck monopoly. Of course it's big, but it's our one big chance. All you've got to do is to convince the Pope and Steam Packet Line to send a boat up here. Open. That's right. He does run that line, doesn't he? No, oh, it'll never work, Roy. Not with Silas Pope, and he's crazy. Forget the whole thing. No, I won't. You're not giving up so easy. You want to be a big man, don't you? I am big. Bigger, I mean. Somebody of real importance. A man they'll remember around here and respect. Can't you see this thing working, Mr. Barraby? Boats carrying cattle, your name on everybody's lips? Well, uh, it's a nice thought. Oh, but I doubt... Uh... And, and all your idea, too. Think that over. Well, it's got possibilities. Oh, see, why don't you leave town right now? If you don't, you'll always be sorry. I'll bet you've got Pope and Soul within a half an hour. I'll do it. Yes, sir, I certainly will. Oh, great. Now you're talking like a hero. Uh, now, Roy, one thing more. If this thing works, you won't forget it was my idea. You don't mind, do you? Well, not a bit. Hear that? Of course I heard it. What's eating you? That pedal boat is going to ruin the trucking business, Ross. Will you shut up, Carly? You're getting me rattled. All right, give me one happy thought, just one. What's the use of kidding yourself, Ross? I'm not. They're kidding themselves. You think I'm going to sit still and let them ring down the curtain on our gravy train? Not much. I'm full of angles, Cully. Before I'm through with that old Popin, he'll leave this town with that paddle wheel wrapped around his neck. How? Just give me one answer. How? I'll give you a punch right in the nose if you don't quit asking me how, how, how. Something will turn up. Always does. What's the matter with you? I was kind of rushed, Mr. Lambert. I got a rush wire for Rogers. I'm sorry if I hurt you, Mr. Lambert. Well, let me have it. I'll save you a trip. I have to see Rogers myself. Well, I don't know. I, I ain't supposed to. Forget it. Something to turn up. Get a load of that. Nightmare, Miss Popin. Them corn phones done fixed it. I was afraid of that. A massacre. Indians, Indian scout and white man. Wake up, wake up. Yeah. What, what? Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Mary Lou, they're off the stage. Well, it was just a dream now. You're all right now. You're oh, all right. Oh, I don't know about that. Barry, I think this West is mighty dangerous country. Dangerous, but it isn't. I swear you imagine these things. Well, then why is it? Every time I shut my eyes, I see bloodshed. 
And me always get the worst of it from Indians and road agents. Dad, don't be ridiculous. For Pete's sake, is he serious? Now listen. Oh, oh Barry, go in. Give me a glass of water. Mr. Barry, I'll handle him. Too cold. Here, stop humoring me. Barry Lou, where are we now? Well, we're just coming into Cherokee City. Attack my teeth, Petro. Yeah, Colonel. Get your teeth. Yippee, yippee, away. Galvin, shooting, yelping, yippee, yippee. Yippee, 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 Jingle, doodle, clap, clap, western, rat time, you swore. All right, all right, all right, I'll fix it, but calm down. Go away, go away. Rango, shut that window. about Mr. Barraby? Hymns, hymns. He loves hymns, but he hates cowboys. Now, confound it, Roy. I, where's that wire? Well, I don't know, but we don't sing hymns. Then don't sing at all. You and your ideas. Just when I was getting Silas Pope and all sold, you, where are you going? I'm going to meet Mr. Pope. Oh, no, 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 no. You only make it worse. Now, listen. Roy. I'll fix everything, Mr. Barraby. Yeah, that's what you always say. Yes, and I'll take the blame for the boy singing, too. Oh, you will? Why, sure, it wasn't your fault. Wasn't anybody's fault, and I'll tell him so. It was a mistake. Yeah, but can you convince him it is? A nice pep rainbow curry. Yes. Are you ready? Yeah, now you be sure to tell him I made it for him special. Yes, yes, yes. What is it now? Ah! Welcome to the West, Tyler Popin. In behalf of the... Louise, Louise, get it, Gasca, you get it. Mr. Popin, this is just for you. Help, save me, save me, Mary Lou, Rango. Rango, somebody, anybody, save me. It's dead, Rango, come on. It was just this close. Me and a roasting gull with a knife in his teeth. I love you. First row. Go in now. Go in now. Please, go in. He bites me. Ouch. I get the knife, but I'm stabbed. Oh. And the knife starts pumping lead. All over the Macy. The coyotes howl. Mary Lou. Save me. Help. 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 Dad. Save. Save, but none too soon. What's going on here? Now, now, be calm. You're all right now. I guess I'd better apologize for the boys here, Mr. Popin. They've... Who, who, who are you? My name's Rogers. I'm... He's my foreman, Mr. Popin. Now, for Pete's sake, let him explain this. Well, I don't like him. He looks to me like a road agent. Well, the boys meant well. They just didn't know any better. If they disturbed you, I... It upset me. Well, they did worse than that. Now, you get out of here. Go on, now. Get out of here. Take that stuff tape along there with you, too. Is he me and me or the buffalo head? Same thing. Now go on. Get along there, you rascals. Well, get out. Well, don't he want my buffalo head? I made him Come on, myself. time for all. Now beat it. Come on, get out. Mr. Barraby, I'm sick and tired of your villainy, and I'm thoroughly convinced that this place is lawless and full of rogues. But it's not. It's Fluffy peaceful. Talk back, you. See, you can't slam a door in my face. Come back here, Popin, and talk sense. I beg your pardon. May I get past? Not until I talk to you, Miss Popin. I've got to get something straight here. Why are you people so nervous? I'm not nervous, but I'm liable to be if you don't let me pass. Oh, just a minute. You don't really think the West is wild, do you? Not this wild. But my father does, and you certainly haven't helped matters any with this last performance. You see, Mr. Rogers, he didn't want to come here in the first place. I did. Well, I'm sure glad to hear that. I was beginning to think you Southerners couldn't take it. But you've changed my mind, Miss Popin. Uh, do you think you could change your father's? I usually do. Why? Uh, I've got an idea you'd like it here. We have a lot to offer. Adventure, thrills. Romance, Mr. Rogers? Uh, sure, we got that too, I guess. Uh, will you talk to him? I'll try, if uh, you'll let me pass. Oh, gee, that's fine. Uh, I'll get the carriage and meet you on the dock. All right. I'm a 
much traveling gear does this Pope need? Are we through yet? Just about, I guess. Hey, Frog, what'd you do with that old buffalo skin? I got her in here. What do you want me to do with it? Bury it. Gabby, I want you to hear this, too. You boys have got to think up some nice way to apologize and square yourself with Pope. We got it all figured out. Me and Frog's planning a picnic for him. Well, gee, that's a good idea. Yeah, we're going to take him down to Dead Man's Gulch. You remember where the Redskins massacred the miners? Say, you know, there's still some blood on the old mine shaft. And Gabby knows the whole story, don't you, Gabby? You're darn too. Well, that's fine. No, you don't. What's the matter with you boys? You just got through scaring them half silly with that stuff. I'll watch them, Roy, and the next time they sound off, bingo, we'll be stuffing something beside ducks and buffaloes. All right, bro, get started. This is probably pooping now. Ha, ha. Come on, hurry along, hurry along, Lou. Hey, that's Colonel. Thank you, sir. <clears throat> uh, Colonel, you're just going to love Cherokee City. Look her over. See all nice people, all the fine buildings, huh? Like it better now, huh? Like it? It's an eyesore. Darby, where I come from, the air is permeated with the odor of sweet flowers, honeysuckle, night blooming jasmine, magnolias. But here, <sighs> you got nothing but stink weed and cattle. The whole place smells to me like a cheap steak dinner. <clears throat> a la carte. <clears throat> Barbie, I've been torpedoed. Now, <laughs> calm, everybody. Calm, calm, don't get excited. Be calm, Colonel, calm. There's nothing to get excited about at all. Roy! 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 Who's Roy? Oh. What, what does it say? Mr. Fulton. Somebody was playing a joke with that arrow. I'll guarantee the Cherokee City is the peacefulest town this side of the paper. Gabby, hold his team. There's this some bloodshed. Come on, boys, let's clean out that saloon. Rock, did you explain this? Believe me, Mr. Fulton, this isn't real. It's a practical joke, and I'll prove it. Am I all right? Am I shot? Am I bleeding? No, Dad, you're all right. Oh. Mary Lou, I can't look. It's a massacre. Oh. Oh. You let me out of this ring. I'm 
I'm going to fly them horses, and I'm going to have you hung. You're going to sit down, Mr. Pope, and there's nothing wrong with you that the bass won't fix. Very funny, Mr. Rogers. If this is a sample of what the West has to offer, will you... Come on. Where are you taking us? To the ranch. I won't go. Stop. Stop this thing. Stop it, I say. You better be quiet or you'll scare the horses again. Hmm? You like your coffee? Get out. Get out of here and stay out. Now, see here, Popin, you must be calm. Calm and sensible. It's the only way. Calm? You don't even know the meaning of the word. What's calm about this place? Rogues plotting, Indians shooting arrows, nothing but a pack of liars. Barbie, you're a liar, too. Confound it, I explained that once. Silence! You talk too much. The deal's off. I want to tell you I'm through. Go on, get out. You done, Roy? You bet I'm done. Well, that's that. Popin won't listen, Roy. He says he's through with us. Now, what are you going to do? I'm going to thank him from the bottom of my heart. <coughs> Rango, I told you to lock that door. I'm not doing business any further with these people. Mary Lou, you tell them. Never mind, Mary Lou. It's my turn now. I heard you sounding off in here, and what you said about calling off the deal suits me fine. Why, you young puppy, what is this impotence? You said you didn't like us. Well, we don't like you either. Easy now, Roy. Let's not lose our temper. Why not? You're a mental basket case, Popin, a bad-tempered collection of bad habits. When you talk, your voice sounds like a burning brake. What? And as for you, you're just a chip off of the old block. With something extra added, and I don't mean charm. Why, by God, fly, sir, that calls for a duel. A duel? Uh, 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 but first you're going to get a sharp letter from my lawyers. Culpepper fits you and Culpepper. You had me all sold that you could take. Well, I'm taking it. Go on. You want a thrill, romance, and adventure. Well, you got some of it this afternoon, and what happens? You quit. Is that all, Mr. Rogers? Yes, that's all. We're taking in the welcome. <clears throat> now, hold on, Roy. Let's talk this over. Herbie, there's nothing to talk about. I'm getting out of this place. Can you sail in the morning? You bet we can and will. Confound you, sir. That's fine. I'll have the boys take your baggage down now. But Roy, where are you going? I've got a little business to settle with Lambert. Lambert. Yes, of course. All his fault. Roy! Mr. Barbie. Now, I spit you a moment. You're head of the Cattlemen's Association, are you not? Well, unofficially, yes. Why do you ask, Miss Popin? Well, I've got an idea. You're kind of asking for it, ain't you, Rogers? You better keep out of this, Bronson. I'm looking for Lambert. You're looking for trouble, and that goes for your horse, too. Get him out of there. Trigger! Don't drink that. They wash your dirty clothes in there. Who does? You did this afternoon, only you had him on at the time, remember? Spit it out, Trigger. It's nasty. <laughs> I thought I'd drop in and thank you personally for, for sticking your nose into my business this afternoon. Where's that telegram? Telegram? What kind of a gag is it? It's no gag. Where is it? You better beat it, honey. This guy is crazy. Telegram I didn't get. I just took it away from Lambert. You might read it over in your spare time. It explains the reception you got this afternoon. Well, is that all you've got to say? What do you want me to say? I thanked you, didn't I? 
Well, who's got the bad manners now? You had an awful lot to say about how I let you down. I meant to apologize and tell you that if you still wanted the boat, you could have it. I even told Barry to round up the cattle from the other ranches. I wanted to keep our bargain. I thought you might appreciate it. But I was wrong, and I'm sorry I tried. Well, I didn't understand what you were trying to tell me. Goodbye, Mr. Rogers. Wait a minute. I'll take you up on that deal. I bet he will, too. Heard what she said to me. About the cattle? Sure. But what's the angle? There's a couple of angles. Come on, I'll tell you about them. Hello? Yeah. Hopping on to it. Bowl on fire? All right, you whole life. Me tell him. Come back here, you rascal. Whose boat's on fire? Hello? My name is Popin. Well, go on, go on, talk. Stick the facts. What? None of my affair, Mr. Popin, but it's your boat. Just thought you'd like to know. Got a head start. Rogers and this bunch, yeah. Having a drunken spree and kicked over a lantern, I guess. And your daughter's down there, too. Hey, you better get some help down there. Lots of help. That'll do it. He'll have that whole gang down there fighting that fire. Bring the boys. We have an appointment at the ranch. Boat on fire! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why? What next? Time they knew you. Burn like crazy. Quit chasing me, will you? You told me that once. Roy! Boys, the boat's on fire. We need every hand we can get. No time to spare. Now get out of here. Don't spare the leather. Roy! Barbie, I bet. Barbie! Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. Where are you going? My, my boat's on fire. I know that, Popin. We're going to put it out. Yes, I know, but what about me? There's a horse in the barn. Take that. Where, 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 where's the barn? Hurry up, boss. Wait, wait, come, come on. Come on. Boy, what a job we're stuffing. How you doing, Frog? I just finished sewing on the tail. I bet you we're going to win a prize with that. Throw me the solder iron, will you, pal? You have to eat it yourself. Hand me that meat on Fred. I'm sorry that sold my whiskers into his withers. Quit rocking the ring! Rango, where's that horse? Oh, he's right over that block. Well, come on, come on, give me a leg up. Come on, Rango. Oh, ow! Why, Rango, get out, invisible lazy critter. Why don't you go? Get out. Come on, get out, get out. Put him out of his misery. That did it for him. I can't stand to see a poor dumb beast suffer. Can you, Cully? Makes me sick. All right, I guess it's all right, boys. Go get that cattle, Drake. All right. Nice figuring, Ross. No some use in your head, Cully. No fuss, no bother, no rushing around dodging ranch hands or bullets. Sure you've got everything straight? I'll take care of my end. Okay, I'll meet you beneath the fall. Flash and shooting irons. They're rustling the herd. Don't bump me. I'll fall apart like a roast. Where tarnations all them hams? Down at the bow, putting out the fire. Who's that? Just me, Mr. Horse. Cowboy be down at the boat fighting the fire. Don't you smell the smoke? That ain't smoke. That's me. Come on, Frog. We got to tell Roy about the rustlers. Help me here, will you? Help! Help, Rango! Pull me out. Rango! 
Somebody save me. Hot coming, Carter. Where is you? I, I'm in the well. I'm in the well. Rango, pull me out. Rango. That's enough water, boys. Turn her off. <laughs> <laughs> Rustlers, they stole our herd. We've been ruffled. Where's Roy Rogers? What's the matter? Rustlers, Roy, they cleaned out our corral. Took every darn head. Going west, down the range. Rustlers? They can't do that to us. Roy! Roy! Oh, Roy, what are we going to do? We can get them back if we don't stand here talking all night. Come on, boys. Jeff Freddis. Jeff Freddis. Oh, Miss Pope. Your papa's in the drinking well. I almost forgot. In the well? Ringo, what happened? Wild horse threw him. Broke in half and come down here. I couldn't lift him. I tried. I tried. Mr. Barraby, we've got to save him. Ringo, come quick. Yes, ma'am, I'm coming. Captain Prentice, you've got to get up steam jiffy like. That's the colonel's orders. Wait a minute. I've got something to say about this. Come on, you two. Now, what the devil is this? Gabby, this is all your fault. Oh, it ain't so. Half of it's prob. Oh, shut up. Get in here. Hey, wait for me.
track there. Ratchet. Boston's got him boxed up in the canyon. Okay. Stay with the captain. All right. There's the fall. Must have turned off somewhere back there. Let's go back and take another look. Right. That's called taking the bait, hook, line, and sinker. <laughs> Looks like to cover the trail, Roy. Too dark to look for tracks anyway. Yeah. Might as well split up, boys. We'll get fresh horses and start again at daylight. Come on, fellas. Let's head for home. Nolan, Pat, look. Shoving off. Wasn't they going to wait for us, Roy? Well, that was a general idea, only they didn't. Where's that leave us? Up the creek without the cattle. Hey, I just thought of something. It ain't going back. Be heading that way if it was going home. You're right. Ahoy there, Southern Bill. On board the riverboat. On shore. Who is it? It's Roy Rogers. Is that you, Captain Prentice? We want to talk to you. All right, I'll bring her in close to the bank. Come on, Roy. You're a little off your course, aren't you, Captain? What kind of navigation do you call that? Feminine. Don't even use a compass. Did you ever watch a woman driver? Well, this was her idea, Rogers. Mary Lou. She did it, boys. I didn't know you took orders from her. That's mutiny, isn't it? Worse than that, it's piracy. The old man wanted to steam back, but it seems she made you a promise to ship cattle on this boat. Remember? Well, in order to keep that promise, she had to hide the boat. I hope you're satisfied, Rogers. I sure am. Thanks a lot. But we ain't got no cattle. Quiet, Nolan. Where are you going to hide it? Downstream about three miles in the cove. We'll meet you down there. Good luck and watch out for the sandbars. Um, bum, bum. Hallelujah. Who's gonna help 
me sing tomorrow. We're going to help you sing. Yes, every time I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Yes. Benita Falls? Well, I never heard of that place. Oh, you must have, Roy. Think. Well, I am thinking. The only falls I know of around here are Canyon Falls. And we've already looked there. You sure about this? I'm positive. Dad was at the ranch when the cattle were stolen. He was? Yes. Boys, that'll cinch your case against Lambert. But it won't. I'm trying to tell you he didn't see them. He only heard them. Oh, I haven't time to explain now, but the cattle are at Benita Falls. Well, somebody's mixed up someplace. It might be a lead, though. We better have a talk with your father and get this straight. All right, boys, back to the ranch and make it fast. Meet us back there, will you? Yes, right away. I'm Mary Lou. Remind me to apologize all over again. You're doing swell. Oh, thanks. Goodbye now. Bye. Who is that? I don't know. Some dame. She kept on going anyway. Uh, come on. Come, Pope, and we'll find your tea. I lost the lens. <coughs> Let me a mall for that. What's he saying? He say he got the bends to get him a pole motor machine, quick. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. Will you stop that compounded brain? The rustlers have gone. Uh, uh, it's Roy. Uh, uh, hey, Roy. Hey, hey, Roy. Hey, Roy. Look. We found these jumpers, Roy. Hey! Oh. Mr. Bear, what's this about Benita Falls? There's no such place. Roy, I know that, but Mr. Popin insists there is. I told him. My last Perino loan, you loaned me a liar. Those rattle of Benita Falls. Benita Falls. Oh, no, sir, Connor. You were grounded, sir. He's got lost his teeth. Mr. Popin, you're all mixed up. It couldn't have been Benita Falls. What did they say? Benita Falls. Benita Falls. Hey, Roy, we got him. Look, Mr. Popin, you're chilling too. Look. Do you want to put him in, or shall I get you a monkey wrench? My teeth, my teeth, give him the teeth. My teeth. By gad, by wrangle, they work. Oh, yeah. glory be to heaven, Colonel. Glory be. Mr. Popin, listen to me. Those you guys... listen to me. I've been trying to tell you folks all evening where those dumb animals went. They're beneath the falls. Beneath the falls? Well, he means under them. Well, rap doodling cack about it. Don't anybody around here understand white man's talk? Wrangle, where's my toothbrush? In the bathroom, Colonel. Please. Roy, wait. It's just struck me. By George, that's it. What? Those falls. There's a cave underneath in a tunnel, and if I remember right, it leads out into a swamp. Used to play around there when I was a kid. Well, that sounds more like it. What are we waiting for? Yeah, what? Well, Roy! <laughs> Quite a sight, isn't it? Seen enough? 
Yes, thank you. Oh, now don't rush off. Think I'm going to let you run back and spin yarns for the rancher? You got a big eye for that. Did I? Just a waterfall. You saw plenty. She'll jam us up, Roy. Might just as well face it. Oh, I wish you hadn't walked in here. It's a tough spot for you. For me, too. And only we can get out. Oh. Meaning I can't, huh, Mr. Lambert? Please, no. I don't like it any better than you do. I have much choice in that. Come on, let's show her the rest of it. Listen. Maybe. Maybe nothing. That's it. Come on, let's go.
Well, folks, the boat's about loaded. Step down, sir. My hand. And mine. Bye. <laughs> Stakes and steers. By Jasper, he knew you were going to have my boat smelling like a slaughterhouse. I'll turn on the pants and sprinkle lily water. Why did I ever sign that fool contract? But we're partners now in the beef business. <laughs> Think of the profits, man. You know what this will make you? A vegetarian. Mary Lou, come along. Come along, come along, come along. Oh, I'll be with you in a minute. Well, Mary Lou, that's our first shipload. It's a big moment, isn't it? Oh, well, there'll be more. Moments, I mean. Oh, Roy, I certainly hate to leave. There it goes. Say, hey, he'll certainly have to hurry, won't he? Who? I don't get it. Well, I've only been kidnapped once. I'm still waiting for the young Ben. Well, that guy, he's decided not to kidnap you. Changed his mind. Why? Because you're kidnapping him. He's going on the boat all the way to the packing house with you. <laughs> I tell you, those cattle are going to smell up my boat. Very gay, very gay. I called my pappy once had a goat. Yeah. <laughs> Indian living on my boat. Save me, right Sailors, Sailors Popin, your boat is packed with beef. But all scallywags and pranksters, get my bundabus. Meet this Indian chief. Silas Popin, cattle roping, cowboys making camps. Silas Popin, big heart open. Please forgive us, scab. Don't take it. Let's look and see. Here comes the river. 